This NFL mock draft edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is brought to you by Shady Rays. Shady Rays is having their best deal of the year. Go to shadyrays.com and use code SGPN for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses and Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash shady to enter the Shady Rays Parlay of the Day contest. We're also brought to you by SGPN's Draft Week all week long. SGPN has you covered with draft props, mock drafts, and our live NFL draft watch party. So make sure to smash that subscribe button at youtube.com slash sportsgamblingpodcast. This is Brian Bosworth, a.k.a. The Boz, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, brother. Peace out. Boz out. <laughs> yes, sir. You like that? No. Cox. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, Real Money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Oh, I. you know what? Shout out to Shady Rays. I got a compliment that I look good. They're not coming off now. <laughs> not inside, outside, nighttime, daytime. You are locked in with your Shady Rays. Yeah. Uh, joining us here, talk a little uh, mock draft in studio. Uh, Shady uh, CJ himself, yes. aka oh, I like aka that. CJ <laughs> Sullivan, aka the man in the box. What's happening, CJ? Nothing. Thank you guys, man in the box. I love it. Two things, Kramer. Uh, I know what you feel with that. I I wear Old Spice deodorant oh. to, to this day. Mm. Because my eighth grade girlfriend said I smelled good. But... Oh, you hold on to the little. Yeah, she, one, uh, girl, one girl said it smelled good as good, for life. I'm a customer. Oh yeah, uh, all it takes. Yeah. So again, if you want to look hot like Kramer, rock those shady rays. Use the promo code SGPN. Get fifty percent off and enter our uh, shady rays parlay of the day contest. Uh, tomorrow we'll be announcing what we're going to be doing as the parlay. And of course, if you submit your receipt. ShadyRays.com slash or sports gaming podcast.com slash shady. Uh, you got a chance to win that cash if it hits. I'm making an exception. Birmingham and New Jersey have to be in the parlay, right? Okay. Yes. Well, <laughs> we I think we have to do it. I think since we're gonna do it's a parlay of the day, we're doing one Thursday, right, we're right. doing one Friday, we're doing one Saturday. Saturday. Maybe that maybe we have an extra one at the end if we're feeling good. Yeah, we'll we'll figure out some weekend action. Um, of course we'll call it the I'm getting up from the table parlay on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you can hang hang on to your paper tickets. Chat is lit over at youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. We are ready to do our SGPN mock draft. We're going to uh, obviously go through 31 picks, having a bunch of contributors, guests hopping in here, announcing the pick. We'll react live. Ryan, we'll get a we'll get a sweat out. We'll get to see how our bets. It, it's it's just a it's like a rehearsal dinner. It feels great. I was trying to explain to the wife how I was gonna re- react. I was gonna practice reacting the same way as if tomorrow the pick yeah. comes in this way. Yeah, it is. It is kind of like a. Pro- Why would you do that? Isn't that a jinx? <laughs> and it's like a proposal, if you will. You know what I mean? Like they know it's coming, but they also want you. you yes. You have to go through the ritual of it. Yeah. You know, know? So there's that tension great, in the air. You know. That's a great point. It's just like a proposal. Uh, right. <laughs> so <laughs> practice your reaction, babe. Now All we right. got a good camera here. There's too. a lot of lot of news, a lot of smoke. Uh, swimming. You know. Coming in and out, Ryan. We'll see. Hopefully, this mock can uh, help sort things out. Although the mock was ran a couple days ago, but again, maybe yeah. that's maybe that's where you stumble yeah. into some of the gems. Mm. I mean, we always say this, right? Like sometimes it's those last minute decisions that are the wrong ones. You got to trust your gut on Monday, right? Yes, <laughs> those bets you make <laughs> right. early in the week. I I, I thought Absolutely. of adjusting my mock draft. I didn't, partly out of laziness, partly out of not wanting to jinx it. But uh, let's get this going. Let's kick yeah, the. Right, we- uh, the, the, the commissioner draft off, which by the way, uh, I cannot wait to tune in to our stream tomorrow to watch yes. Roger Goodell come out. On uh, and of what course, time does it officially start? Cause we have to get started a couple minutes earlier. Okay. 
I think whatever it is, I we want to I want to be on the air when Goodell comes out. <laughs> Bro, when he gets the boo. Uh it is scheduled to kick off five o'clock uh tomorrow, Thursday, okay, April 27th. So I would say first time we'll ever, we will be like early. Yeah, early. Yeah, we will be early. Just to enjoy the Roger Goodell booze oh. with you. Our commissioner. Well, even in 2020, when they did it virtually, I was still booing. Yeah, we, uh, they did not <laughs> pipe the boo. booze in. The boo reaction in the Zoom, you hit the thumbs <laughs> up. <laughs> and then there was, Down uh, and then he started getting real weird. And then there were rumors that uh, he was on muscle relaxers. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if a pill up Roger Goodell that weird shows chair. up in Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, he was like just melting into that. Just chair. hanging with Roger in the he, basement. He missed his hugs. He loves the hugs in a draft day. It's the only time he feels good all year round. Other than when he's collecting his fifty million dollar salary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, didn't he just resign too? Yeah. All insane. right. All uh, right. We ready to go? Yeah, I guess let's wait till we hit a pick till we talk about any cl- CLV. Okay. No CLV touting until we win a bet. Now this was before Reddit rumors All right, came so, out, right? This one. Uh, Sean, you you're gonna be the um, uh, you're you're the commissioner in this oh. scenario. Remember. Welcome. Everyone. I have my buttons on the machine over here. Yeah, welcome everyone. To Re- the ready? To, I see our first pick in the green room. He's looking extra sexy, knowing he's got that top pick. All right, let's bring him on uh, here, representing the Carolina Panthers and the number one uh, pick overall, Mister Jong Lee. You know him from uh, oh, yeah. Cam's Casino. He's a <laughs> he's a legend. What's happening? What's happening, Jong? What a time to be alive. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's been a while since you've been on the show. Great to have you on. Uh, what is your before we get to the uh, pick? What is your? Do you have any locks already in for the NFL draft uh, prop? Because I'm sure you got some action. But what do you like uh, draft bet wise? I'm thinking the uh, under six draft day trades for round one. Really? You so see, you're the reason it dropped to five and a half. Yes. Jeff. Anti fun John. Sharp, uh, sharp, like John. sharp money like John. I remember when John came to this office and got real close <laughs> to the TV to sweat out a tennis bat <laughs> oh, yeah. in the middle of the afternoon. John's great because he's always like, uh, yeah, there's this uh, Slovenian uh, ice hockey game. If you could get that on number seven, really appreciate that. We're like, hey, John, you're our people. Yeah, we got you covered. We got you. All right, John, let's get it started. Please announce pick number one. With the first pick in the 2023 SGPN mock draft, the Carolina Panthers select Bryce Young, quarterback, Alabama. Mm, no brainer, Sean. We're experts. Cash it. Cash it. Plus 225, sitting on it. No surprise. Wow. That just right? feels right. The Will That's Levis beautiful. stuff feels like a, a smoke screen, not going to happen. All right, John, appreciate it and uh, enjoy your draft. Love you, bro. Let now, it ride. Let what, it run. What was that Levis thing yesterday? The Reddit the Reddit post yeah. was saying a guy like they're like, well, they're like, well, I mean, they did take down the stock market. I guess we do <laughs> got to pay attention to it, but huh. they did. I mean, the funniest part is that apparently he had an earlier post under this burner account uh-huh. uh, where he guessed who the new, uh, he said the Joker was being replaced and played by a different actor. And he was completely wrong. On that. <laughs> and then he, he deleted it, but some, of these, great. some of these hardcore Reddit people were able to find. I like dragging that up. He has no credibility. Look what he said about the Joker. <laughs> that, Red, that Reddit <laughs> troll has no credibility. Oh, well, speaking of trolls, this man likes to, uh, Likes to mix it up on uh, on the SGPN network. You know him from the NBA, the NFL, the Propcast, the MLB Gambling Podcast, Houston Texans super fan, Mr. Moonoff Manji. What's happening, Moonoff the Machine? You got to unmute, mute Moonoff. It was a full Texans. Moonoff, you know, full Texans. <laughs> trying to do 50 things at one time, it's going to happen. He, he like, is. Like, he is also book. producing <laughs> in the background. Yes. So uh, we won't bust you too hard, Moon off. But it was a Texans totally thing muted, uh, Manji. Uh, <laughs> you're you're rocking a Texans jersey. I mean, it, is it JJ Watt? I'm trying to think who else is jersey worthy. It's the only guy you got to have a jersey for. I mean, look, I, I have a second one that I'll, I'll change into when we have a later pick, the 12th pick. I'll change into <laughs> okay. that one. I like it. Uh, but as far as right now, it's 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 JJ Watt. That that's uh, that's the guy, man. All right. Well, maybe you'll be getting a new jersey. Moon off, please announce the uh, pick for the Houston Texans. All right, with the second pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL draft, the Houston Texans, Tommy Wilson, linebacker, Tech. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, your audio broke up there uh, during the during the important part. But you are announcing Tyree Wilson. Close, Tyree Wilson. Close some tabs, producer. <laughs> Jeez, what's going on over there? All right, he got it. In. Moon off. If it is Tyree Wilson, how you feeling about the uh, Texans pick? Uh, I like it. I, I think that with D'Amico Ryan's coming over, being a defensive guy with San Francisco, um, I don't want Will Levis at number two. Uh, but <laughs> I think it starts and ends with a, a defensive guy for the Houston Texans. And I mean, we need help obviously at the quarterback position, but just because of the guy that we have at head coach, it's it's going to be a defensive guy in my opinion. Yeah, and also, yeah, the so, D'Amico Ryan's Will Anderson thing still has me thinking maybe that's the way it goes, but everyone's pointing out that they actually prefer the Tyree Wilson type and the D'Amico Ryan yeah. defense that he's going to try to run. So, I mean, aka San Francisco style defense. Think of those big, strong defensive linemen. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is plus three fifty. Put it in the pocket. I'm already cashing oh. tickets. Are you kidding? If Tyree Wilson goes number <laughs> yes. two tomorrow, I'm already doing the, well. For the, the thing draft. that scares me <laughs> back is to back wins. It's a free roll after two. There's a there's a there's a yes. scary situation that they're they're some of these books are putting out like these props of Bryce Young, Tyree Wilson, Will Anderson as their like featured prop trifecta. And that to me, that's what my mock draft has. So that feels like the kiss of death. Mm. I do think maybe the Arizona Cardinals uh, trade out of three. That's obviously a possibility. All right. Well, Moon off. Thanks for coming on. We're, we're moving over to three. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Thanks guys. Love you, Houston. Better see a Damian Pierce jersey or next. Yeah, I mean, too, come on. I mean, Damian Pierce runs hard. Yeah, He's a super fun guy to have in that's, fantasy. That's probably the right answer to the jersey. All right. Super fun uh, guy from oh, the state of Arizona. Or Mechie. Get the Mechie jersey. Yeah, Mechie. I love that. There you go. Overcoming adversity. You know him. Rich, fat, baby, Ryan McKee from the <laughs> NBA Gambling Pod, the original. Oh. The original founder, content consigliere. <laughs> love that title. What's, ha <laughs> what's happening, McKee? <laughs> I'm just chilling here in the uh, new champions round offices. So, uh, wow. stole, uh, wow. stole a white cloth from Steffi Smalls. who will be joining you later. So, uh, ready, to, ready to rock. Ready to rock and roll. Uh, yeah. No. So, again, what do you, what do you, uh, well, let's just get to the pick. Yeah, Announce the on. pick, uh, McKee. Uh, with the third pick in the NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals will be selecting the Terminator, Will Anderson, Jr. Yes. Three year starter for Bama edge rusher. So you like the pick. It sounds like, I mean, who knows what the Cardinals anymore. I, they're, it's, they're, they're, gonna, they're trying to trade out of this pick, but part of our rules was we weren't going to do trades for this. Right. So yeah. who knows where they're going to be in the draft, but yeah, he's a great, uh, he, I, I, he'd be a great pickup for them. The Cardinals need pretty much everything and uh, certainly need a strong head rush. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was reading his uh, profile on the NFL Combine, and it says he's got uh, plenty of get off juice to the corner. Oh. That's the first time I've heard of uh, get off juice. I use <laughs> poppers for get off juice, but hey, everybody to their own. Yeah, get off juice sounds like uh, sounds something we'd hear in a sword vitality. Uh, <laughs> as I say, or your white claw. You're <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got drinking some get off juice. All right. Well, thank you, McKee. Best of luck. <laughs> thank with you, your guys. The, the mock draft flying along. Wow. There's there's rumors now the Eagles oh, trading wow. up for Will Anderson. I, I think I think trade up for Jalen Carter's possibility. Yeah. I don't see them trading up for Will. Anderson. I don't think they have enough to trade and, up for. Like they don't have enough in the bank to actually get that third. Pick, and can I know? tell you? I think I think they trade down and might still be able to get Will Anderson. Wow. Still not understanding Whoa. teams getting cute with Will. Yeah, think about it. They trade down with Seattle. Go to five. Pick oh, okay, up Will Anderson. Okay. Oh, yeah. Small trade down, but mm. I mean, again, I think I think Arizona, if they play it right, they could trade down multiple times or end up with a top defensive blue chipper. Well, if the Colts really love Will Levis right. and his uh, crazy back muscles, as we're led to believe, them swapping picks with Arizona, I think, makes a ton of sense. Has anyone done a faith deep dive for Frank Reich? Mm. Does that mean that's a good question? Well, like Frank that. Reich. Frank Reich for the Carolina Panthers. That's what I mean. Like, oh a, yeah, in terms of dominoes falling. Yeah, is Bryce Will Levis? Young... I mean, that, that's uh, as Herm Edwards would say. He don't mess with no devil. <laughs> and he eats a banana with the peel off. I that mean, feels that, like very demonic. That's why I question that IQ test. I say CJ Stroud failed, <laughs> and and Levis passed it by eating a banana with a. I mean, what, well, what, that's what, you what, know, no, no, 
It's not actually an IQ test. That's why you're confused. Uh, it's right. just your re- ability to react to colors and shapes. <laughs> well, so, he, <laughs> how about texture? He obviously doesn't know a banana peel shouldn't go inside your mouth. He likes his fruit really, really, really <laughs> underripe. All right. All right. Moving over to the number four pick. Oh, hell yeah. Joining <laughs> us, you know him, Terrell, the villain. Furman <laughs> from the NBA Gambling Pod, ton of other pods. What's happening, Terrell? Nothing much. I just saw Rich Fat Baby McKee, and I could very well tell he was not with the Shady Rays program. We got to get him a couple <laughs> pairs. We got to yeah, we got to send him some Shady smoother. Rays. He didn't he didn't get with the program. It looked like he had the Walmart <laughs> brand going on there. Uh, ultimate villain move. But... <laughs> yeah, immediately clouded on the guy's uh, non-sponsor approved sunglasses. I like that. My time man did say sick dorm room. <laughs> To uh, to uh, McKee's setup there, you look like uh, you're ready to go here. You're dialed in. What do you got for the Indianapolis Colts, Terrell? All righty, here with the fourth pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL mock draft, the Indianapolis Colts select C.J. Stroud, quarterback, yes! Ohio what? State. Yes, what? I love it. So the and, Will Levis smoke was smoke the entire time. Hold on, Sean, do it. Do the part where you go, the draft has officially started. The, the draft <laughs> starts now. Look, can you please play my nerd drop for me? Because all of these nerds that feel this SQ squared by three triangle little freaking dumb test means anything in football are right. freaking idiots. They're freaking fantasy guys that just sit there and look at numbers all day. I am so tired of this. You're not about to tell me some test that doesn't even matter is about to take a guy who's been consensus top two quarterback the entire time out of the draft. I don't believe it. He has an amazing arm. He's an an incredible athlete with deceptive speed that he can actually play in the Shane Steichen system. Oh, and be able to be scared. more mobile. Shane Steichen says, I'm getting scared yeah, about more that. mobile. I so, had yeah. Will Levis going number four. I'm well, getting scared. Terrell's making great points. No, no, I do I, like the, the angle of like we when we stop playing football and then your stock goes way down. It, it is always concerning to hmm. me. Yes, like let's, I think let's talk about happen. football, people. We're Jim, about Jim Irsay football. is another guy who could simply be like, "Oh, I seen this guy play in this building yeah. before." Yeah, he's that one, is he's Jim Irsay who... is the uh, ultimate got... wild card. Is Jerry Jones, big game. Yeah, yeah, Jerry Jones of the North. Will he be able to bring um, all of his Ohio State receivers with him, though? I, I will ask that. Is that <laughs> that yeah, would well, certainly help. So would... we actually have a trade in the works where oh, when nice. they do draft him, they do get compensation of his wide receivers from Ohio Great. State. Oh, see, so. We we have been talking about that as an organization, and yes. where we oh, I love I love where our mock draft is gone. It's completely ruined all my bets. Oh, <laughs> this I'm, is this is a I'm disastrous for, scenario. We we'll love us to, to I'm, go number four. I'm fortunate to have hit the early bets because Kramer uh, and we have to uh, slide starts now. We have to figure it out. I I pitched to uh, Kramer a Will Levis bet mm. between us. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm where. In. Uh, I'm on one side of Will Levis. He's on the other, whether it's over under draft position or Will Levis to go number four, all other situations, Will Levis to the Colts, whatever, whatever feels like a 50 50 split. The loser has to eat a big piece out of a banana peel and drink some mayo coffee. So, Ryan, both. Yeah. Oh, you got to do both. Yeah. It's the Will Levis challenge. That that is painful. The loser One gets bite the of a Levis. banana without the peel on? Yeah, but like a decent chunk. The end of the banana, not like a So banana. the loser is going to spend the rest of the draft show in the toilet, and they're <laughs> yeah. not going to be here. <laughs> that could like be. Inside could be. the toilet. <laughs> that is a disgusting act. All right. Uh, thank you, Terrell. Best of luck with your Indianapolis Colts and your, your rebuild there in yeah. Indy. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Did hear Stroud came out today? He's like, I don't do tests. Whatever. Yeah, I just play, was, I just play I'm football. a football. I'm a not. A, he's just I'm cool not a as test fuck. taker. And, I'm a yeah. football player. And he's right. Since when did we want our football <laughs> players smart? I don't yeah. get it. <laughs> no, J- Justin Herbert dropped in the draft because he went back senior year to learn about biology, and everyone's I like, know. "Fuck this guy! Right. Can't trust this guy." All right, moving on to the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, we there's a virus in the system. He's back. Oh, yeah, Damian Pierce. Joining Apparently, uh, Pete Carroll didn't um, forgot his pills or something. Did not to turn in his card. We are once again <laughs> joined by Moonoff, the machine, Manji. He's looking into Building Seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Him and, him and De- Detective DK. Well, that's actually a great idea for a children's book. 
Detective DK. All right, let's go. Yes. You're we on gotta, the we got to get this thing going, Sean. We're You're on the clock. That. What do you got, Munaf? With the fifth pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL mock draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Jalen Carter, defensive lineman from Ooh. Georgia. Oh, all right. there, there's some rumors he's off their board, but yeah, uh, I, like it, I, I certainly like the pick if you can get it here. So uh, Peter Schrager was very suggestive in saying that there would there would be a difficult situation if him and Anthony Richardson were both on the clock, both available. Oh, for the Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are having the Seahawks go in uh, Anthony Richardson. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. All right, moving off. We'll check in a couple picks here. Just here so I don't get fined. All right. <laughs> Very good. Moving over to pick number six. You know him as the senior, oh, senior yeah. IDP, old dude, writer, <laughs> podcaster, Gary V. What's up, Gary? Oh. What's up, fellas? Letting it ride. Yeah, I like yes. it. I, li- I like the energy. Whoa, what is- <laughs> it's got a very yeah, interesting yeah. setup. He's got some get up juice. Go, go get the gift. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Here to rock and roll, fellas. Rocking right. and rolling. Let's hear it. Let's go. You're on the clock, Gary. With the sixth overall pick in the 2020 SGPN NFL mock draft, the Detroit Lions select B. John Robinson running Whoa. back. Oh, my Lord. Oh, so you oh went, you God. shocked the world. You shocked oh, the world Dan with Campbell. B. John Robinson. It's a, it's a no brainer for me. I am not impressed with the Montgomery signing and you're not passing up on a dude like this. Not, not the lines. I don't see yeah, it. I mean, I, it, it is funny because Dan Campbell, you know, he's probably sitting back there watching that tape. Like, God damn, that's a good football player. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah he yeah, knows, this kid knows how to run the rock. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, Go ahead, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, go, Gary. Rock and roll, fe- fellas. <laughs> All right, bro. Rock and roll, Gary. Yes. Love Cheers, it. Cheers, bro. I Gary, pro- Gary brought a lot of energy. I, yeah. Yeah, I propose he picks at least seven more. In this <laughs> first round. Oh, I think we need like a, out all the pro- all the prime numbers. Give the head. Well, I'm <laughs> see. Yeah, there's got to be something around Gary's basement, right? Like there's there's a segment there, a bit. I, I don't know, a video maybe. I don't know if he knew he was on that entire time. That was that was <laughs> hey. fantastic. I love the energy. I love it. Love it. We're moving on to the Las Vegas Raiders oh. at number seven. Joining us on the line, you know him from the old fashioned football podcast, the XFL gambling podcast, Mr. Justin Mark. Justin, what are the Raiders doing at seven? Yeah, with the seventh pick of the 2023 NFL mock draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Anthony Richardson, quarterback, oh. Florida. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh. Well, God. you you can have you can wield an AR-15 in Las Vegas. Yes, no concealed <laughs> carry. <laughs> Although maybe in the city, I don't know. Rest of Nevada is pretty. Uh, There's been pretty a couple open. situations. They probably have a couple rules. They might have. They might have a couple rules. I I had C.J. Stroud going to the Raiders, but in this mock, if the Colts take him, I think them taking oh. Anthony Richardson. They supposedly tried to trade up the one for Bryce Young. Them taking mm-hmm. Anthony Richardson Mark, here Mark makes Davis, a ton of sense. Mark Davis does have the blood of Al Davis coursing through his veins. So. <laughs> yeah, he's a Raider selection. You just, I just, you can't put any first rounders in Vegas and give them millions of dollars. They, <laughs> they need to only get thirty year old <laughs> family men, you yeah. know, what I mean, that can handle themselves you're, in Las Vegas. You're taking a kid out of Florida. Yeah. too. the dry. He's not going to know about the humidifier. They'll it's, just be buying jet skis left and right, and they're going to have to break right. into them. Next, you know, you're driving ninety five miles an hour after top golf and uh you no, know it's, it's dry. skin's but, gonna be all cracked dry. it's uh it's yeah. like a social experiment going on out there if you can drop <laughs> these millionaires in oh Vegas. can you imagine uh mcdaniels and anthony richardson no oh, I mean, what a what a and mark davis doesn't that, he like accuracy <laughs> that that haircut jimmy alone. jimmy g and ar-15 just checking who's out the town him? who's stopping him all right jay mark <laughs> all right thank you jay mark from the Thanks, xfl gambling podcast oh, good haircut oh, yeah. from scotch and scissors fresh oh, haircut. <laughs> yes uh jay mark is looking sharp yes, the throwbacks he makes everyone jealous when he wears <laughs> yes this it's a flex i like it all right bro thanks guys take Moving on, the Atlanta Falcons at number eight. Joining us uh, from the IDP show, Reality Sports Online, Mr. Jake. Wait, uh, we might not have it. Do we have? I don't. I. I. I we, I'm flying blind. We don't have them. All right. So, guess who's back? Oh, I was gonna say I can jump in if anybody. Oh yeah, no, to... yeah. You know oh, what? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you can hang know, out. No, no. no Moon off. No, here, no. Let, let, let CJ do it. CJ, let CJ do it. Do you have it in I, front of you? I, I, Sean I and I can't see it. 
I want to move oh, okay. with a different Texans jersey each time. <laughs> All right. So we're on number eight, Atlanta Falcons. Yes. yes. Uh, I got the, of course, I picked the hardest name to pronounce. Get Mudoff back up here. Uh, with the Atlanta Falcons, with the eighth overall selection, we'll take Aaron Donald replica, Kalaja Kansi, the lineman out of Pittsburgh. What? Whoa! What? Whoa! Bit of a reach. Bit of a reach. Yeah, bit of a reach. I don't want to take cr- responsibility for this pick. <laughs> I just Who the wanna, hell I just... is Mel Kuyper anyway? Hey, someone gives me the card. I just, <laughs> anna- I just announce it. Wow. No, I, mean, I, I like – I really – he's a guy that if he falls to the Giants, yeah. that will be the guy I'm secretly hoping they take. Mm-hmm. He He's a defensive lineman from Pitt. We know what that means. Right. He's a baller. He's undersized. And, and he, he – part of the reason he he's, uh, ch- has a chance to go this high is he absolutely dominated the workout. Yeah. So, uh, he's fun. I mean, he's a fun guy, a little mm-hmm. undersized, but – Undersized, which obviously brings a comparison to Aaron Donald, but he's not Aaron Donald. But he could. I mean, he's got a lot of potential. But he's, got, he's got a high ceiling. I like him a lot. We're back on the winning sheet. I wouldn't mind him. Well, I, I thought I thought the Eagles might have a chance to get him at thirty. I have. So, <laughs> that, I mean, oh no, 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 no way. Get, that's outrageous. Giants would take him yeah, at twenty five. That's, that's an insult. Sure. Really? Oh yeah. Okay. I I think that NFL teams really like him. And Sean, we're back on the winning team because uh, I, Atlanta Falcons defensive lineman. Ooh, Let's gosh. go. <laughs> no cornerbacks taken yet. Sean, no cornerbacks taken. All right. That is a surprise. Cornerbacks are slipping. All right, let's They're move falling. along. We're, 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 time is melting. Joining it's us. It's not a flat circle uh, right for now. For the number nine pick from the Chicago Bears. Yes. Mm. You know him as uh, lead dog there on the SGPN Fantasy Football, Mr. Justin Bruni. What's happening, Bruni? Not a whole lot, boys. Excited for some NFL draft action. Pleasure to be oh, here. Yeah. Let's go. What do the Bears oh. do at number nine? Uh, With the number nine pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL mock draft, the Chicago Bears select Peter Skronsky, offensive lineman from Northwestern University. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's the you keep the kid home. That's I I get it. That's a very bear. So now, now you you would rather him over CJ or not CJ Sullivan over Paris (laughs) Paris Johnson. Paris Johnson. You have. Yeah, I I think that the Bears invested a lot in their passing game this past offseason, obviously moving that second pick for Chase Claypool at the deadline last year, obviously moving back now, uh, acquiring DJ Moore, giving up that one hundred one pick. And I think that. Uh, Skronsky is going to be a better pass protector. He grades a lot higher than Paris Johnson in pass protecting, and they have a very similar like run blocking grade. So I think you know the investments that we've made in the passing game in this offseason and you know last year's deadline. I think he definitely should be the priority there between the two. If we go shopping for Skronsky and come home with Johnson, I'm not going to be crying. I think they're both great prospects. Yeah, we mentioned on the show the other day, Skaronsky just feels like a, just a name. Yeah, Madden absolutely. would be like, great football name, Skaronsky. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and he's just kind of like that modern uh, like offensive lineman that I see. He's got really quick feet. He's agile. And his like his hand techniques are you know considered to be like next level already. So he only allowed one sack last, last season. I, I think like three hurries. He was incredibly efficient. I did see uh, one of the offensive line tape guys that I, I listened to speak very highly about his hand to hand combat. Yeah. <laughs> I just like calling it hand to hand combat. Yeah. Oh, that's hand-to-hand what it is. All right, Sean. Absolutely. Remember, yes. we have 31 of these to go. I'm just enjoying the. I'm, I know you are. Yeah, but join checking in with Bruni, Let checking in with all our guys. I got Sean up on the wall over here. Don't you're you're yeah. on the wall too, uh, like Kramer. That. Don't worry. And you got you got your yes. uh, villains and uh, yeah. So I, I did some decorating in the in the basement. Is that a plate? Is Sean on some sort of like uh, decor plate? So I, oh. Yeah, it looks like something my grandma would have. Yeah. It's a digital version. Now I'm creeped. No, no, this <laughs> is this that's is, great. I, I like it. it. I'm great. Look. I love it. Wayne's basement. That is All a, right, that is a grandma plate. That's great with the stones. On the well, Sean, yeah. thank you. Sean's perfect. Sean's Be good, great. guys. Best All of luck. Right. Cheers, man. Thank you, Bernie. Go Bears. You order them during an ad break for the Glenn Beck show, like in the middle of the night. Back in studio we go oh, with right. the Philadelphia Eagles on the clock from the New Orleans Saints. Right. Thank you, New Orleans. Uh, Mr. Charles Sullivan, host yes. of the Bottom Line Bombs. Eagles on the oh, clock. Went with a more personal intro there. He threw the, threw the yeah. government name out yeah. there for everyone. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Right. <laughs> no, all right. Okay. Put it on Front Street. That's fine. With the 10th overall selection, the Philadelphia Eagles uh, select. Out of University of Illinois, cornerback Devon Witherspoon. Ooh. First cornerback taken, Sean. What did we just do? Ash. Two to one, baby. Ash. Oh, my God. For it... First D back? Yeah, for sure. It's between him and Gonzalez, obviously. Gonzalez. I just realized, Sean. Go ahead. The, even with the quarterback fuck up, 
I'm having a winning day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I like it. Yeah, ship it. So, um, yeah, and you can still get a pretty decent price on Eagles to go cornerback, which mm-hmm. I, again, if they stay at 10, wouldn't be shocked. I do think they like Nolan Smith, but I, I don't know. I don't know. If, yeah, I took it just because Witherspoon was there. They I might took it because of value because I didn't think he would be there. For, yeah. But to be honest with you, I don't think he'll be there tomorrow. I think uh, I think he goes Detroit, to right? I think goes to Atlanta uh, at the latest. Yeah. So, at I, eight. I do think he certainly, like, having – I think we had a little bit of a wrench there at eight Mm -hmm. in terms of what the norm is, but you know, it's the NFL draft. It doesn't start until the pick when we all scream and say the draft has started, but he's a blanket corner. You can't, you can't have enough of those guys. I agree. He's got tenacity. A little undersized, but he's got tenacity. You you could argue. Fiery. I like, I like words like that. You could argue that almost a little bit of a, for some reason they seem disc. We're still going to see six go in the first round. Yeah. But yet we're, we're not, we're talking about the first one at 11 or 10 10, feels like a discount. For sure. That's what I thought. It was. I hate it was this a, pick for the Eagles. It was a smash That's a, It's pick. a nice deal. And you got to replace CJ. CJ's going to replace what's, CJ. That's what's for sure. the worst position the Eagles could draft for you guys? I, I don't know if they're, I mean, again, mm. if they draft, if they draft an O-line, it's kind of boring. How do they fuck it at up? 10, right? At 10, they can fuck it up. They go wide receiver okay. like you threw it out there the <laughs> yeah. other day. There, were, there was rumors of that. Like Bijan, would that fuck it up? Bijan wouldn't be great either. I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, I'll talk myself into Bijan. Yeah, but again, I'm one of those guys. I don't think I talk you. Myself into ninja, What's worse, Bijan yeah. or a hundred million dollar cap hit? <laughs> or well, you what? can throw them away. Well, That's four, the problem. I don't four understand. years. Come I don't on. think it's yeah. I don't think it's that bad uh, investing in running backs into the draft like the way people say it. Because you like yeah, you're not gonna get a second contract. Who cares? You no, throw just, it. You throw it away. I, I, I actually, I, I yeah, I am in the belief. I mean, that offense with Bijan Robinson right. would be fun. Pretty so I, I can talk myself. You can and he's with their can. Henry back there too. They can run option with yeah. that. I mean, come on. Wing T. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the Tennessee Titans at number 11. Joining us, Rod Via Gomez from the NASCAR Gambling Podcast. Yes. Rod, you and the Tennessee Titans are on the clock. We certainly are. And with the 11th pick of the SGPN mock draft, the Tennessee Titans select Paris Johnson, offensive lineman from Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Oh. Good. They need some help, and they don't know what they're doing, but they definitely need to improve on just outside of the, the top five in sacks allowed uh, to Ryan Tannehill and whoever else was a quarterback back there. They were 13th in the league as far as guards allowed per rush at 4.4. I mean, you got Derrick Henry. You need to protect him better. I know these guys are a mess, and they're not going to pick anything with the first few picks of the draft. I think they need offensive line help, so they got to go after the guy that blocked for C.J. Stroud. I do like the Vrabel Ohio State connection, but perhaps it's going to be CJ Stroud. And not yeah, no, I, I I like the investment in Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry though. Yeah, no, it's still on the team. Certainly, uh, Paris Johnson could help this Tennessee Titan team I, again and getting them at a pretty good price. It does seem like if you look at the cap structure, they probably just give Tannehill one more year uh, and see what happens because they his dead cap hit is pretty crazy. So. Maybe they go quarterback here. Ryan, what quarterbacks are left? I'm blanking. There's uh of the ones. Will Levis hasn't gone. I was going to say, if Will Levis is available at yep. 11, they might Woo! do that. I, I think they would be surprised. Fra- but Frable's probably very thrown off by dude eating a banana. <laughs> our, guys are, our guys are smart, Ryan. They're, they're staying away from Will Levis. Massive bust, bust potential. Well, thank you, Rod. Appreciate it. Check Rod out on the premier NASCAR gambling oh, podcast. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. No one I, does NASCAR like those guys. See what I did there? Uh, joining us next up in uh, coming back for his Houston, Texas, uh, Texans. Andre Johnson <laughs> yeah. struggling to find his yeah. next uh, Say different Texan each Texans t- jersey. <laughs> oh, now you do it, Andre, Andre Johnson. Yes, there you go. Come on, that's yes. fire. That's my favorite Texan of all time. That's that was sure. my my He's peak. Peak Texans were my secret slut team. Oh, every year Ryan was trying to talk me into how Matt Schaub and Andre Johnson, this was their year. I was so into Andre Johnson, I was willing to tolerate Matt Schaub, a UVA quarterback. That's how I Well, the one year that uh, Schaub went to the Pro Bowl was when Kyle Shanahan was offensive coordinator. After that, I just remember Andre Johnson fucking up Cortland Finney. That was great. Yes. Uh, All time fight. Gives him a slight edge over Arian Fox. If that happened today, there'd be criminal charges. (laughs) I know. Assault. That actually was assault. (laughs) All right, Moon Off. What do you got for the Texans at 12? With the 12th pick in the 2023 SGPN NFL mock draft, the Houston Texans select Will Levis, quarterback, Kentucky. It works out for him. 
Yeah. I think there really no. is a version where they go defense at two and quarterback at 12. I think it's kind of a crazy, risky strategy, but I, I think that's what they're going to do. Onions. Moon off. You got that? You got that Levis jersey in the queue? Uh, not quite yet. Uh, uh, Damian <laughs> Pierce first, and then maybe Will Levis. Yeah, Damian Pierce. Longest. That guy runs hard. You got you to give it up for Damian. All right, Moon off. Thank Thanks, you, man. Guys. Let it ride. Moving over to the Green Bay Packers at number 13. Joining us on the line, John Ginder, newly oh. minted SGPN contributor, Green Bay Packers shareholder. Oh, wow. Also beat Andrew Robb at mini golf. So I like throwing that <laughs> little, little trash talk in there. And he's got a bunch of helmets in the background. What are those helmets from, uh, Gindy? So it's a project um, I've been working on. We got, they're called Eclipse helmets. They're all blacked out for every team. And they're all signed by somebody that I've liked over the years or whatnot. I got like four teams left to go. Oh, this is oh. the true man cave. Last year, you you mentioned about the man cave with a couple pictures in the background, and I said, "No, that's not it." Yeah. Now, now you're looking at it. Yeah, this is a this is a true cave. No lights. <laughs> yes, very, very <laughs> dimly lit. I like it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's perfect. Actually. True cave vibes. Yeah. All that's... right, Kinder, you're on the clock. What do you got? So with the uh, 13th pick in the SGPN mock draft, we take the Green Bay Packers. Brian Branch, safety, ooh, Alabama. Ooh. Okay. So you're yeah. no spite towards Aaron Rodgers and taking the receiver. <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah. No, I think, you know, to quote you guys, this guy's a dog. Like, just straight up. Like, this guy, he tackles hard. He doesn't miss tackles. High football IQ. This is – a Packers safety to a T. This is a future captain of the Green Bay Packers, if I can even say that. You are looking at a good football player. Giants have had good luck with Bama safeties over the last couple of years, I will say. All right, Ginder, thank you for calling in, man. Let it ride. Best All right, luck thank to you. Next. Shout out to the Brat Stop, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, love, love, uh, mm. love some delicious brats. Uh, while we're waiting for our next uh, gentleman, perfect time to shout out Shady Rays. If you haven't gotten your Shady Rays, uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. Love my Shady Rays. Ryan, Ryan's rocking them in studio. Great for indoor. Obviously very good for outdoor as well. Uh, that's where most people wear the Shady Rays. Again, they're lost or and replacement policy, second to none. You break them even day one, they will replace your shades. And not only do you get 50% off when you use promo code SGPN, but you go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash shady, send in your receipt of you uh, getting the uh, Shady Rays with the SGPN code, you are automatically entered to win the uh, Shady Rays parlay of the day. We're going to be naming a parlay Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for the draft. And the winner, uh, again, if the parlay hits, we will be picking the name from those who have entered. So make sure you head to shadyrays.com, promo code S. GPN and uh, sports game podcast.com slash shady joining us on the line. A man who's definitely not shady representing the new England Patriots from the golf gambling podcast. OG of a D gen, Mr. Boston capper. What's up capper. What's up boys. Uh, my Bruins are down one, nothing with a minute 35 left. So that's not fucking great, but you know, well, hey, and this is like the most miserable oh, time sorry. of the year for Pats fans. No, I was just saying this is miserable time of the year for Pats fans. Now this is you, you guys just, haven't been here in a long time. What do you? Yeah, we won't be we won't be here either. We'll we'll trade back for some bum. We'll, we'll trade back to like twenty four. Oh, get two thirds, two fours, two fifths, and then <laughs> roll those into nine sevens. A bunch of fucking scrubs from D two schools who can't play because Bill Belichick's going to be the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> this is Capper's take every year. I forgot. All yeah, right. uh, yes, yeah. he not, hates Bill Belichick, the GM, with a passion. Uh, You're on the clock, Capper. All right, with the 14th pick in the 2023 SGPN mock draft, the New England Patriots select Quinton Johnston, mm. wide receiver. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's So go. Quinton Johnson, first receiver, drafts, cashes for the SGPN Sean, crew. Oh Fresh your account. Sean, if this happens, oh, we're, ta we're, taking down, we're taking it down. Look out. Oh my there, God. There's no shot this actually happens, though. What will yeah. happen is, is we're going to draft player, some big draft. fat – yeah, some big fat load who can't fucking play, and they're gonna have to be scram scrambling for his uh, his film on on draft night right. because he's a third round pick for everybody. Else. Say that's the best and most inaccurate pick so far. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Zay Flowers' price for first receiver has plummeted. Perhaps uh, 
Perhaps there's someone knows something. All right, Capper. Appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right, to the boys. Golf Gambling Podcast. Oh, love that pick. Check them out. Go bees. All right. Join yes, us you. on the line representing the New York Jets. A man who, uh, <laughs> according to his yes. description, hates football. No, that's not true. Gas you know himself. Him. You know him. Uh, pick Dundee. A.K.A. Colby Dan, he's got the uh, oh, he's got his Jets hat on. He's yeah. got his Jets beanie on. From the New York Sack Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with Dundee in the background, we got Dundee on Dundee. I can't tell which one is which. All right, Colby, you're on the clock. What are the? Oh, I, I mean, what an exciting time, you know? Like we keep trading for these. Uh, I, I we got Flacco. We trade. We I love these old vets that we got. We went far. We went Flacco. We went Rogers. I'm just waiting another 14 years till we get Jordan Love. Um, uh, you got to go offensive line here. So I'll say this: with the uh, with the 15th pick in the SGPN mock draft, the New York Jets select Broderick Jones, Ooh, okay. uh, offensive tackle from the Georgia Bulldogs. You can't go wrong with the Georgia line of scrimmage, whether it's offense, whether it's defense. They drive their cars fast. They win fast. All right. It's what they not, do. Fast, not fast enough, apparently, for some. Co- or, to, or too yeah. fast. J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Jets, Jets, Jets. Colby, will you be getting a uh Aaron Rodgers jersey to support your Jets? No, I think he's a piece of shit. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks uh, for calling in. <laughs> Up next, Col- for the that'd be amazing. Colby was- will be in studio. Yeah. Colby, uh, take your the- headphones off. You don't want to hear this next team name. Uh, representing the Washington Commanders, oh, boy. you know him from the SGPN Fantasy Football Woo-hoo! Podcast, Mr. Andrew Robb, looking sharp, rocking the suit oh, and it. the Shady Ray shades. I love it. This guy, you dress sharp, you yeah. pick sharp. What's happening, Andrew? What's going on, fellas? Not much, man. Just uh, right. rocking this mock draft. Commanders officially on the oh. clock. With the 16th pick. In the 2023 SGPN NFL Mock Draft, the Washington Commanders select Joey Porter Jr., cornerback. Oh. We are Penn State. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a hard wow, pick for you. That. Uh, but, I mean, look, I hope Joey Porter falls to the Giants, but great pick for the Commanders here. Thought it was going to be B. John Robinson, maybe. Uh, but yeah. I mean, how are we feeling as division division foes? Uh, I'm fine yeah. with it. You know, we will be good year they still one. Don't- they, they're they're committed to Sam Howe, which uh, I find entertaining. And uh, yeah, as long as they don't have Lamar Jackson, I'm feeling good mm-hmm. about our commanders uh, coming up. This Indiana year. Jones wants to know, uh, Andrew, if you just got out of church. <laughs> no, no, this is how real men dress. I was oh, gonna wow. say, you're the only one who's taking this thing seriously. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Hold on. I, you, you look sexy. I need to look sexy. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> Ryan, yes, Ryan's yeah. getting his sport coat out. No. Breaking oh, up it's, the it's not yeah, draft day. Giants, the yeah, sport yeah. coats for draft. Don't I'm give a- him a Gary reasons to dress up. That's what he said. <laughs> the old Pepper Johnson. All right, uh, Andrew. Well, worse of luck to Great your commanders pick. than the actual <laughs> draft. But, uh, that's, that's probably a pretty solid uh, pick there. Yeah, you draft I, yeah, I, I, draft a Nepo baby. It's all right. That's fine. You can't really say much about Nepo it. Nepo baby. <laughs> uh, moving on. We what? got the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers next up. At 17, representing the Steelers, Cameron Kerr, producer of Golf Gambling Podcast. And he's rocking his Steelers hard yeah. hat. Amazing visual. He's got the towel, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. And are you rocking a – is that a – what jersey are you wearing? This is actually a Ryan Switzer jersey. Oh, uh, oh come on. It's a car. It's a car now. <laughs> yeah. So if you, it, it really depends on how old the person is when they walk up to me. Yeah. It's either Cardell – or uh, San Antonio Holmes, or Mitch Trubisky, or uh, are there many Mitch Ryan Trubisky Switzer. jerseys? No, no, <laughs> I have gotten that though before. But so you- this is a Ryan Switzer jersey, yeah. So how do you feel about Kenny Pickett? Uh, so I love Kenny. Um, I really love him. I think that what he did in the in the game, uh, driving down, you know, in Baltimore. To win the game really solidified him as the Steelers' long-term long-term quarterback. Mm. All right, Steelers, you're on the clock. So, with the 17th pick in the 2023 SG mock draft, 
the Pittsburgh Steelers select Dewan Jones, offensive lineman, Ohio State. Oh, oh mm. wow! Feels like a gonna, little off the board, but uh... gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get some protection. I actually actually and I actually think you guys should look for a uh, trade up maybe to nine to possibly get Skorinski. So yes. keep an I've eye out for heard, that. I've heard uh, them link to uh, the, that offensive lineman as well. Even uh, Jalen Carter there trading up. So Steelers could be on the move, not afraid to go up and uh, get their guy. Appreciate it, Cameron. They're already, right. call, they're already calling it Pickettsburg. So they're, they're, oh, they're, they're, in. they're all, they're invested in. I saw the t-shirts <laughs> down the strip district. There's no backing out from that. <laughs> yes. Once they get the, once they, once they come up with a good name, yeah, you're, you're there for a long time. <laughs> Uh, next up on the clock, the Detroit Lions, represented by represented by oh. Noah Bianic, oh, uh, the Flamingo host, Kid, host of the College Baseball Experience, host of the MLB Gambling Podcast. Uh, in his uh, in his in his basement here, he's got the Hutchinson jersey in the back, representing the Steel or not Steel City, the Motor, Motor City. Oh, wow. Hey, we got Steel City on this side though. Yeah, you do. You got a little. I, I thought I saw some Pittsburgh stuff in there too. Yeah, big tire uh, Pittsburgh there. natives know the college too. Got a real yeah. Michael Keaton room going on down there, <laughs> Mister Mom Gung Ho. Everything's represented. Rocking the Rust Belt. All right, Noah, <laughs> you're on the clock. Lions, what do they do? All right, throwing it back with an old prop that I made from last year. You can see it on the dresser back there. I've I made it mirrored last year. This year, wrote it normal, so it came out great. With the 18th overall pick in the normal. SGPN mock draft, the Lions select Nolan Smith, linebacker Ooh, from Georgia. That the, is the slide ends, Sean. The slide ends. I mean, I'm if you can get uh, Nolan Smith at 18 in that defense, I think that is a uh, that's a steal. So congrats oh, yeah, for sure. I, I think our biggest need is like tackle to stop the run. And I think we ultimately go that at eight, but uh, if Nolan Smith falls, I think we take him over uh, a defensive back, which we also kind of need as well. I want, yeah, this is, I mean, I'm just looking at the draft position over under 11 for Nolan Smith. We're seeing the future. Do I just take over now? Uh, I mean, it? I don't know. I, I think there's a, a real chance the Eagles take him at 10, <sighs> but <laughs> After 10, you can see the slide. The slide is happening. All right. Yeah, I, I think he has the energy that Dan Campbell's going to love. Uh, plenty of speed. That's and it. like Colby mentioned, it's it's a Georgia linebacker. You can't go wrong. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Maybe play a little of that Micah Parsons role. That's what, they're, mm. that's what they're trying to sell you on. All right. Appreciate it, Noah. Next up, representing the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, you know him from uh, NFL draft analyst, the draft blitz, and Wait, the draft. Hold on, lounge. we might have a we might have a fill in here. Okay. Oh, oh here yeah. we go. The cave. Yeah, Where's I'm filling in. Still sitting in the dark here. Jimmy, um, uh, filling so. in here for the Tampa Bay Bucks. You are on the clock. Um, with the 19th overall pick in the SGPN mock draft, Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Hendon Hooker. Quarterback, Tennessee. Oh yes, yes. Sir. Let's go. That that yeah. matches up with my mock draft. I love it. The so Tampa Bay. No one's talking about them taking a quarterback. Three headed monster. Yeah. I know I'm filling in here and all, and I don't have much to go on, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Hendon Hooker is going to be the best quarterback out of this draft. Woo! Wow. Look back at it. Wow. I mean, Guinness just come to a, with a blowtorch with these hot takes. He is People young. Not, they're not talking about how smart he was. As a quarterback, how he likes these patient, likes it, you know, re he's not just this running quarterback. He's got skill, he's got intelligence, and I think his knee will be fine. He went from playing from Fuente to a system that's going to get him yeah. drafted in the first round. He's and a genius. He is the only one who can legally rent a car, too, out of the quarterback. <laughs> Car carpet so. shampooer as well. Yeah. He's, he's, got a, he's got it all taken care of. All right. Uh, thanks, Gindy. Appreciate yeah. it. Let it ride. All right. Taking a quick break to shout out Underdog Fantasy. Love underdog fantasy. Hey, Ryan, Best Ball Mania is coming. Best Ball Mania 4. $15 million in prizes, and the drafting starts on Saturday. So Saturday night after the draft mm. concludes, we can uh, hop in the best ball drafts, do start dominating, racking up those best ball Sounds teams. Sounds fun. Uh, again, think about it. I mean, imagine a hot – so you sign up underdogfantasy.com. You use the promo code SGPN. You get that 100% deposit bonus up to $100. The best ball drafts are only $25 a piece. That means you, you got four shots 
for free, essentially, at this amazing $15 million prize pool. Uh, love underdog, love best ball. They got the NBA, NHL playoffs for some sweet daily games. Uh, MLB, the player prop parlays. They got it all. Underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN. And, of course, uh, get in the Shady Rays contest and also get in the NFL drafts prop contest completely free. I all, entered. All you do. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, CJ yeah, we was on. We did an entire yeah. episode walking you through the draft props contest, giving you the answer card. Winner gets two hundred fifty dollars cash card out and a fifty dollar <laughs> SGPN gift card. All you got to do this is for only our Discord. Discord is completely free. SportsGamblingPodcast dot com slash Discord to get in there and uh, let it ride. And I will say that hit, of course, over four and a half quarterbacks once Hooker gets drafted oh, in the first yeah. round. Um, and I gave this out on the bottom line bombs today. Little, I see a bet online up there. What yeah. I found. Sometimes you find the discrepancies, and I think over four and a half quarterbacks was like at 190 earlier. But if you look Hooker's position, oh yeah, it was 31, 31 and a half, and a half under yeah. was 160. Yeah, so that's 30 cents change, uh, and that's basically what you're betting if you're betting four and a half quarterbacks. Is Hooker going to get taken? They, the first they round. don't think you're smart enough to look around. Right. They do this every uh, Super Bowl is the same way. They're just lazy. I well, I think I think they hate drawing these lines anyway yeah. they, they hate having to follow twitter and following reddit and you know and, and moving the numbers every 20 minutes for this and they can't i think the books can't wait for this draft to be over with it is i mean if i if i ran a book it might it could be one of those events where you just say fuck it <laughs> not really not we're really taking a bath who cares yeah, i mean the nba playoffs are going on you got complaints yeah, you'll, you'll, right. have some, you'll have some opportunities to win it back a yeah. couple of bad beats absolutely uh, i don't want to be a party pooper but all right. All right. Uh, moving on to the pick number 20, representing the Seattle Seahawks. He's back. That's why we call him the machine. Moon off. Mm. You're on the clock with Seattle. What are they doing? Apparently, Seattle didn't realize the draft started. Uh, Pete Carroll's uh, taking a nap somewhere. But <laughs> with the 20th pick in the 2023 SGPN mock draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Christian Gonzalez, cornerback at oh, Oregon. Great this steal. is this is a steal, steal of all steals, yeah. Ryan. And you said you think you think they like would like Gonzalez over Witherspoon, right? Oh, I I think well for Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll likes a long armed, like they like to play that press mm -hmm. coverage. So those long arms are helpful. You think about every defensive back who has had success under Pete Carroll. They all have that profile. So I think he would be the perfect guy from the Pacific Northwest. So you have you have that situation too, and and frankly, I, I haven't seen a ton of mocks where he isn't the the first or second guy taken. So, you know, perhaps people question why he uh, he left Colorado, as Colby said, that little bitch or something along those lines. <laughs> so yeah, that's a great pick, Moonoff. Yeah, Thank real you. steal, real Thank real you. sharp pick by you. All right, who's next? Who's next? Oh I'll yes, tell you who's next? Yes. Is, he, is he loaded up, Ryan? Oh yes. All right, he is. Oh, here he is. San Diego should stay there and all, baby. <laughs> San Diego. Yeah, baby. San yeah. Diego super fan, Justin Decker. He's got his San Diego State uh, golf polo with the Chargers hat on. That's right. Ready to rip it. All right. Chargers are on the clock. All right, guys. Well, with the uh, 21st pick in the SGPN draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Jackson Smith in Jigba. Wide receiver, oh, oh, my God. Ohio it. State. Crush the pronunciation. Yes, very key to crush <laughs> pronunciation. And uh... <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're going with our gut on this one. The, how do you the, out. this draft? Right. Yeah. How do you feel about getting uh, Smith and Jigba this late in the draft? Yeah, I don't know, man. He's you know he <laughs> doesn't have a lot of experience. You know, I'm just basically going off of that one Rose Bowl game where he had like 15 catches, three yeah. three fifty, and four yeah. touchdowns, but. You know, I see Keenan Allen kind of going downhill a little bit with all of his injuries. And, you know, they have good receivers, but they don't spread the field. And if you don't do that, then, uh, you know, you're not going to have success. And he really just has the ball skills and, you know, running in stride. Uh, oh, yeah. I, th I think yeah, he'd be a good receiver. He's, he's, uh, they, uh, everyone's pegging him to Cooper Cup, which w I would obviously be dynamic for the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Well, Decker, I'm going to let you go, but obviously you got to got to do the song a little bit. People would get mad if you, <laughs> we show up and we don't get a little bit of the song. We're coming your way. We're going to dazzle you with our play. San Diego, Chargers, Chargers. 
Yeah. Mm, yes. <laughs> Love we it. We just go back, man. I feel disco's <laughs> coming back. Important, important message for the people out uh, there. Pull that P- oh, the disco needs to come back. PSA. Uh, social. It's been long enough. You know, every thirty years or whatever, bring it back. Uh, this is gonna go yeah, viral. Like it, to Decker singing this. This is gonna start a start a charge to get them back down to San Diego. No and charge. Yes. Exactly. All right, thanks, Decker. Appreciate it. Has right, it boys. has that Let same it blank Later. stare of celebration that he had <laughs> when they blew that thirty-five to three oh, lead. Oh, oh, oh no! No, but I mean that's the last uh, I saw. Uh, I you, thought that was going to get Staley fired, and it didn't. But, right but, now, but that can't do it. He's experienced the ultimate highs and lows over at their studio. <laughs> no, he took it like a champ. Oh, yeah, the, the, the Chargers playoff loss, but then he followed it up with that buzzer beater oh, for the final yes. four. That was that you should have seen me at the game in Houston. I was obnoxious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to a game where everyone's just there to casually watch and they're not into it as much as I do. Really embarrassed my wife cheering, but hey, it was fun. <laughs> Hey, you got to represent San Diego. Oh, no. Hopefully, right. hopefully you're out of the doghouse. By <laughs> Appreciate it, Decker. <laughs> Let it ride. All right. Jo- up next, representing the Baltimore oh, Ravens, man. Mr. Scott Rye Shell. What's happening, Scotty? Nothing much. Just going with you guys. Nah, you know, mm. can't complain. Apologies to, to taking you away from the uh, NHL <laughs> and NBA playoffs. Yeah, minute. Scott's got like nine parlays. Uh, <laughs> He's he's got him going on the screen. You know him from the yeah, tennis. You see that smile podcast. too. He's like motherfucker. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, say you're wrong here, but you know, uh, he does it all here over on the network, producing a bunch of stuff, hosting a ton of stuff. Scott, the Ravens. You guys are on the clock. What are you doing? Well, uh, with the 22nd pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL mock draft, the Boston Ravens select Deontay Banks, cornerback, Maryland. Ooh. Oh. I did. I did. I do have to point out. You mistakenly said Boston Ravens. He's talking about a Boston it. Bruin. <laughs> yeah. he's, well, probably, he's probably hey. watching the <laughs> the Bruins game. He's getting a little, uh, a little wired. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. You know, like it's a long way to go in that game. I thought I said Baltimore, but apologies. Uh, if you didn't hear other news, we're uh, relocating to Boston. If you didn't know. Oh, okay, so, I like. It. Yeah, there so we go. The cornerbacks over is on its way now, right? That's hmm. four. Yeah, no, I mean, cornerbacks have been have been slammed. I do like the Ravens getting a cornerback. That, that like makes it. sense. Unless they, they still want to make Lamar happy and they draft try and, him as another try receiver. Try another receiver in there yeah. for him. All right. Well, j- just to say, by the way, as a representative of the Ravens, we will not be taking Lamar Jackson questions at this time. So. <laughs> I like that. Fuck. Although I am here in the 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 con- the the, uh, the contract will get signed before the draft starts. I'm oh. hearing hearing some rumblings. What a relief! I don't want to put I don't want to put Scott, the GM of the Ravens, on the spot. Save that for some other day. Thank you, Scott. Let it ride. Yep. Let it ride. Uh, moving on to the Minnesota Vikings. You know him. You love him from the NBA Gambling Podcast, Mr. Delonte Smith. What's up, Lante? What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? The doing polite, good, the polite host from the NBA. <laughs> feed, who doesn't yeah. openly talk shit to us? Yes, no chirping and uh, very uh, great voice. Great voice for podcasting yes. for radio. Uh, Delonte, you and the Minnesota Vikings are on the clock. Yeah, so with the 23rd pick in the SGPN 2023 mock draft, the Minnesota Vikings will be selecting Keely Ringo, cornerback from Georgia Bulldogs. Ooh, I like that. Cornerback run. Ryan, we're getting a run on cornerbacks. What is the over-under for cornerbacks in the first round? Five and a half. We discussed smashing the over earlier in the week. We're on our way now. We're at five. There's still a couple guys who kind of seem like guys, like teams are willing to trade up to come and get, Mm. so. I like that pick. The Giants have kind of – he's been a guy rumored to the, – the Giants are interested in, so. I hope so. We need it. All Ug- right. Ugga, well, baby. Great name, too. Yeah. Appreciate calling in, Delante. Yeah, no problem, man. Enjoy it. Let it ride. Very, very tombstone-ish, that name. <laughs> yeah. Next up. Ringo. The merch god himself, Mr. Jake Paquin, representing the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, he's got his Jag shirt on. <laughs> Ah. God hates Jags. What's happening? Uh, right. What's oh. happening, Jake? You know, I was a LaVisca truther, so, you know, I got a shirt. That's my only Jake shirt. I was yeah. going to say, I, I thought you were I thought you were Detroit Lions all no, the way. Dude. but you know. No, no, no. I'm a Lions hater, actually. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, you're, you you like to bust everyone's balls who are <laughs> Lions fans that you're friends with. Yeah, the only player I like is Jameson because my dynasty team, and of course, he's never going to touch the field, apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm you not going for him. You and Jameson uh, probably get down on the should've, same. Should have been playing Keno on uh, working 
I was going to say, dude, you, you guys, I mean, you should hit him up. He's going to be free for a couple yeah. weeks. You both like to craft parlays. We should announce a suspension for uh, one of our employees. For It actually is the opposite of the Detroit Lions. You will get suspended from SGPN if you're not placing uh, bets <laughs> at your workplace. So <laughs> if you're gambling on the campus, campus. <laughs> yeah, well, you're in trouble. All right, Jacksonville Jaguars, you guys are on the clock. With the 24th pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL mock draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Darnell Wright, offensive tackle out of Tennessee. Wow. Ooh. See, that this is the, one of the more shocking moments for my first round, Sean. Really? I, I think he's going first. I have a ticket on him to be the first lineman taken. Yeah, I mean, lineman does seem – What a steal. I, I, thought, I thought it was Paris Johnson uh, you know like, who locked shut up down? to be number one, but uh, it could go anywhere, really. Will Anderson had one bad game in his college career. And it was uh, Darnell Wright. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, if you're the Jags, you can always use some offensive linemen. Makes uh, makes a ton of sense there. All right, appreciate it, Jake. Let yeah, it rock. Great job on the shirts. <laughs> nailed nailed some of the uh, the Swinger Sword, mm. Mike Leach shirts. Beautiful. Love those. It's beautiful art. All right, man Ryan, in the box. Ryan, oh man in the box, man yes. The box. Oh, well, so, CJ's taking it. his top off to. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're shirt. not in the cave here. Well, not, you know, I was I talking about cut being. It loose, se- I, was, I was talking about wanting to look sexy. Got yeah. the Giants jacket. Yeah, you on. put the Pepper Johnson on. Why can't I get the man in the box? <laughs> hey, now, look, we're know? all just trying to get lubricated. <laughs> Speaking of which, super lubricated. The New York Giants are here at pick number twenty-five. Joining us, co-host of the Golf. Gambling podcast, Mr. Steve Shermer. Steve, uh, I feel like it's been a wild ride over the years with you on our <laughs> Giants reaction show. He's the, so pragmatic. It's the, annoying. The, the, the Canaris Tony reaction uh, stands <laughs> out in my mind. Instantly not a fan. <laughs> No, definitely not. I'm back at the scene of the crime, too. I'm back in the Outer Banks uh, for oh, no. uh, uh, the uh, draft this year. But hopefully, listen, we got a new GM. Uh, encouragement what happened last year. We're going to have another impact player for the resurgence, New York football giants. So uh, thanks for having me on to uh, pick for the Giants uh, tonight. And yeah. they have they have computers in their war room now. Really? Yeah. Upgraded the war room. I don't to like include that. It, no more, no more binders. I'm, a, I'm right. against that. I'm CJ, pay- we we get nervous now. That the Giants got computers. I, <laughs> you should have seen Joe Shane's face when he was like, you know, last year we had a deal with that. We had a guy that was just on, in charge of the magnets. <laughs> he was so annoyed. Who gave Fucking, them tablets? Yeah. Uh-oh. Who let so them? Annoyed. Who let them have their computers? <laughs> it looks beautiful, by the way. The IT guy got a spotlight on Giants.com. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> and giants.com is hosted on a computer uh real no, real story that's how the internet works Sean. all right steve you guys are on the clock all right with the 25th pick in the sjpn 2023 nfl mock draft the new york giants select zay flowers wide receiver boston mm-hmm. college okay. wow love it oh my God. so steve are you are you excited if zay flowers is here for you guys at 25 I am. I mean, I, I uh, uh, hat tip to my co-host of the Golf Gambling Podcast for taking a stiff uh, wide receiver, you know, channeling the true Bill Belichick in him, taking a guy who's not going to work out with stiff hips and you got to teach him the hands. No, I love Zay Flowers. You know, he's a great route runner. It seems like Brian Dayball, the type of receiver he wants, is a shifty guy, runs really good routes, you know, get the ball out pretty quick. So I think Zay Flowers is going to be a great match for uh, uh, this offense. I mean, Steve is our Northeast regional scout, so yeah, he would know a bit about Zay Flowers. See, Steve, the only thing I've heard is that the the Giants have a be, uh, have oh. essentially a ton of slot receivers, and that maybe oh. they would go with the Quinton Johnson because they need someone with a little Zay, bit of size. Zay is not a slot. I don't. What did no, I say like three months ago? <laughs> Ty, he'll have the most fantasy points this year. Yeah, really? Zay's not a slot. He's He has more of the comp of a Tyreek Hill ceiling. He can play the outside. He's got the same body type of Wanda Robinson, but Robinson is a slot receiver. So. Fuck yeah. I, mean, I, I love honestly, the Tyreek Hill comp. I, 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 think cor- I think quarterback <laughs> is more of a pressing need for the you Giants, but we've seen five go already, and we could go Emmanuel Forrest, but he weighs as much as Rory McIlroy. I have a little bit of concerns about that. So <laughs> maybe we'll get another guy between, you know, uh, later on in the second round, fill that need. But the fact that Zay Flowers fell this far, uh, I'll happily take him for this T- offense. Twitter can't handle his takes. That's why he left. Tyreek. Oh yeah, the Too Tyreek high. Hill comp. I love it. The Boston that, that College would, that Tyreek would, Hill. Love it. That would burn down uh, <laughs> Twitter. All right. Thank you, Steve. Make sure uh, you, of course, it. you check out the Golf Gambling Podcast. Join. Oh, Ryan, this is uh, Dallas Cowboys. How unfortunate Ooh. they are on the clock. Uh, we got a special guest joining us on the line, head of content. At Champions Round, Miss uh, Steffi Smalls. What's up, Steffi? What's up, guys? How's it going? 
Good. Uh, thanks for coming in yeah. onto the I, show. I mean, turncoat. <laughs> representing the Giants here. We just picked for the for the uh, or sorry, representing the Cowboys. We yeah, just picked right. for the Giants. Well, real I, quick, yeah. What what's your take? It's you want a d- defensive player, right? I want a defensive player. We have a lot of slot receivers at home. I do agree that Zay Flowers isn't he. I I do agree that Zay Flowers is a little bit different. We don't have that many. I mean, not those type of slot receivers at home. So a little bit different, but I do want to take a defensive player. Well, when your tight ends are six foot six, <laughs> like Greek gods, you don't need. You can have three slot receivers. What would you if you were? Uh, I mean, if you're if you're the Giants, who are you hoping they get at twenty five? It depends. I actually like them to take a safety. I like that safety out of Alabama yeah. quite a bit. I I don't know if he's going to fall to us anymore, though, at this point. Yeah, Brian Branch is getting a lot of hype. Yep. He went uh, mm-hmm. earlier in our mock draft. It'll yep. be interesting to see uh, what he does here. Steffi, I got to ask, before you reveal the Dallas Cowboys pick, were you picking uh, something that the Cowboys would do, or are you trying to sabotage the Cowboys by drafting them a total bust? Well, I have seen a lot of meltdowns about this pick that I'm about to make, but I do All think right, it's on brand. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dallas Cowboys, Steffi Smalls on the clock. With the 26th pick in the SGPN mock draft, the Dallas Cowboys select tight end Michael Mayer out of Notre Dame. Oh, wow. Yeah, very on brand. I mean, I think that is – honestly, I think that's something they're going to do. Yeah. And as an Eagles fan, I'm Michael Mayer, come on. I, I'm fine with it. I'm, J- I'm not Jerry nervous. Jones it strikes me as the kind of guy that Jerry Jones would, like, cuddle up real closely sure. to. Him. Almost like he's a child. Yeah. Just bring him around town, <laughs> take him out to events. He's, I mean, if they don't trade up for Bijan, again, something they're certainly going to do because yeah. anytime you can – Maybe get Zeke 2.0. You know they're going to be uh, super excited to do that. Mayor could really scratch that, like, Witten fetish itch that oh, yes. Jerry probably has. So I think it's very on brand. Imagine yeah. if he gets his uh, helmet knocked off and he keeps oh, running yeah. like one time oh, yeah. against the Eagles. Uh, Jeez, Jerry Jones fetish is not what I wanted to hear right now. The mock draft. <laughs> it's pro- it's pro- the tight end one's probably his most normal one. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steffi. Of course, Appreciate you it. Guys. Check out champions round. Uh, next up, we got the Buffalo bills on the clock joining us to represent his Buffalo. Bills. <laughs> We're <bill>. ready. <laughs> We're ready. Listen, shady rays. That's we want to represent. Sorry. Yes, he's got the Shady Rays on. Got to represent. some sort of background uh, audio getting picked up that sounded right. slightly nope. demonic. Lord. The Don of Bills Mafia, <laughs> managing editor, Adam Pelletier. What's up, guys? Com, so Stranger Things time. monster on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the tw- you, can, you can see his... Uh, you can oh. see our website. Yeah, the reflection of the you shades. Can see the board. See so yeah, how you know he's a, he's I, a real worker. Right? Adam has one monitor dedicated to the website. I love it. All times, all times. Even when I'm at the day job, got it going <laughs> on a separate computer. Uh, all right, with let's the go. you guys with are the 27th cool. pick in the SGPN mock draft, the Buffalo Bills select Brian Breesy, defensive Ooh. tackle, Clemson. Wow. Love it. What about, did you consider taking that kid from Michigan? Uh, I, uh, Mozzie, he's getting a lot of, a lot of uh, talk late. Right here now the bills have a nice guy in Ed Oliver, little yeah. small gets around though, makes moves. What they need is a guy who's big physical and going to eat space in the middle. Give me six, five, 300 pounds played for Clemson, been in some dog games just throws blockers around like he's like they're rag dolls. You watch him in some of these ACC games. He's throwing guys from Pitt all over the field. He's throwing guys from Notre Dame down to the turf just time after time after time. And I'm going to be honest. I didn't think the receivers were going to blitz that early because I would much rather see the bills if they need to get Zay Flowers or Jackson Smith Najigba in this offense. It's an uh, arms Adam- race in the Yeah. Uh, your reaction, breaking news. Let's just say hypothetically Ooh. bills get Deandre Hopkins on draft day. How are you taking that news? If they paid anything more than a ham sandwich, I am pissed oh, off. Wow. At oh, right. You're out on Dion. I don't want an aging jump ball receiver. He's a <laughs> physical receiver who doesn't win with separation on <laughs> routes, which is what Josh Allen needs. That's he's true. An, he's an aging guy. He's used his physicality. Old guys who outjump people age poorly. See Des Bryant, Plaxico Burris, guys like that. 
that's going to be DeAndre Hopkins career path late. And Josh Allen needs a guy who's going to get open. They need to draft a guy like Jackson Smith Jigba or a flowers who can take over for Stefan Diggs as Stefan Diggs ages out and graciously moves into the mentor role for a younger receiver. You're already trying to move <laughs> yeah. past Steph Diggs. Adam I'm not trying to move past it. Steph Diggs. I'm trying to keep Steph Diggs in Buffalo by having him have to carry less of the load. All right. Uh, in his uh, later years. Yeah, I see where your head's I'm at. I'm sure Stefan Diggs will accept that mentor role very, <laughs> very graciously. All right, Adam. Let it ride. See ya. Yeah, that'll be Man, a, I mean, a slap in the face to knock. Well, I mean, I think DeAndre Hopkins at cold weather, the soft tissue stuff, I could see it. I could see it being an issue for him. I, I mean, that I would not be shocked uh, if, if if that's a problem. All right. And real quick, Sean, yeah, sure. so just a couple other a couple guys to note that are sliding down the board. Yeah. Who's uh, sliding? One of your guys early in the process, your big uh, pale pass rush guy from Iowa. Lucas Van Ness. Lucas Van Ness. Slipping through the cracks. Miles Murphy, a guy we talked about recently, is coming up boards. Another guy from Clemson. I kind of thought he would go before Brian Brees. Uh, and uh, Jordan Addison. I think a lot of people thought he could be the first wide receiver taken. Yeah, I like him a lot. On think, the board he's here. a fun long shot. Yeah. I like the Chargers grabbing him, too. Uh, Van Ness, I've seen top 10 yeah. some mocks. For yeah, I know. Uh, Eagles, a lot of, uh, there's yeah. a lot of buzz of the Eagles taking, taking Van Ness. So I, right. the fact that he's still kicking around here at 30. All right, let's make a trade. Let's do it. Or he's not, we're not quite there. We're at yeah. the Bengals. Maybe we would trade up. That's what I was saying. But of Wait. course, representing oh, yes. the Bengals, Mr. Cincinnati <laughs> himself. <laughs> Justin Wood. What's happening, Justin? How are you guys? I like right. it. You're calling from some sort of utility shed. It looks like I am in my break. I'm in the break room at work. I okay, say, I appreciate you're that. Definitely hiding it, this conversation. Which we like. Yeah, it kind of looks. It kind of reminds me of the Bengals indoor practice facility. Like it's here. <laughs> Similar. Yeah, it's got a utility room vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Pac Man Jones there. All right, Cincinnati and the Bengals. You guys are on the clock. Let's do it with the 28th pick of the draft. The most NFL-ready player in the draft Ooh. and probably most NFL-ready name in the draft, Dalton Kincaid, Ooh, tight end yeah. out of Utah. Sure. Cash that over one and a half tight ends, Sean. I like I like them going tight end. I have them going Luke Musgrave because hmm. in my mock, they, they oh, the okay. two – Kincaid went a little earlier. Yeah, Sean I, like, I like the tight end play. He's a big athletic athleticism and length guy. <laughs> Plus one ten to take Long a tight end. The Bengals. Oh. Yeah, it does seem like the odds on favorite. Yeah. And again, like I, I, whoever they drafted tight end, if they go first round, I'm going to be playing that guy right. first touchdown, uh, two touchdowns mm, yeah. early oh, on the season. Man. Those he's already, are he's already thinking your next viral moment. I'm, guy. I'm already chasing the next one. Doctor Phil wants new content. <laughs> I love Dalton, it. Dalton Kincaid, Kincaid's a three touchdown. Yeah, he's, yeah. He only gets he's, three he's the next Brock Wright. Thursday night. Same. Thursday night. Circle it. Let's All right. Do it. Justin, it. appreciate it. Who day? Hey, guys. All right. Joe Pond new. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Well, he's getting that out there. Well, nah, Pete like Carroll it. was searching for building seven. <laughs> <laughs> He'll track it down one of these days. All right, Kramer, we are on the last stretch here of the mock draft. Of course, make sure to tune in tomorrow night for our live draft party, youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. That subscribe. We as long as yeah, the listen. first round is going on, we'll be here. We have we're gonna have like we're gonna have people calling in on video. We got the Discord chat, we'll be open. It's gonna be I a free for all. It's going to be a free for something really bad happens to your team and you want to call and yeah, yell, please. Well, do. yeah, yeah. Feel free to hop on the line when your team drafts. Will Levis <laughs> join us and you want to you want to see either Ryan or I uh, drink Ooh. the mayo coffee. Have we figured out the bet, Ryan? We got it. We got to lock the bet in right now. But CJ, this, what are the? I don't understand why this. I don't understand the, the need for us to do any of this stuff. Right. What it's is the bet? Levis, Levis versus Stroud? No, no. Levis. Oh, we could do that. But mm. uh What's a what's a good Will Levis bet? Is it just Will Levis will uh, go four forward? and a half or whatever? What's his uh what's his over under at? Three uh, and a half or four. I mean, you'd have to set it at four. Yeah, I'd say it at four. Four and a half, four. But then, well, the the problem is it's going to be a push. If it's a push, we'll have a, a secondary bet that triggers. All right, right. See, Ryan never ever wants to do these fun side bets. So <laughs> no, you're right. I don't Which do one's anything, anti I don't do anything fun. 
24 hours of live draft day stream. <laughs> mm. All right. We'll figure that out tomorrow. What's that if, Ryan's, if Ryan's in on it, uh, joining us to talk new Orleans saints, you know, her, you love her Katie Mox. What's happening, Katie. Hey guys. I can't believe you gave me the saints. <laughs> no, no, we, we gave you the Niners pick. Yes. This, <laughs> so it was originally the Niners pick and it made through, its way through Miami. <laughs> it made a left at Detroit yes. and got over down out of the, to the bees. Uh, yeah. So well, real quick before the pick though, Jimmy yeah. G talk. Oh, yeah. Are we are we worried about Jimmy G having to deal with another young athletic quarterback coming to town? No, mm-hmm. we're not. Well, first of all, Mox is never worried about Jimmy G. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say that mm-hmm. right now. Um, and I do think that he's going to be pretty successful there in uh, in Las Vegas. And yes, I do think that they're going to draft a quarterback because there's always going to be health issues with Jimmy Garoppolo. But I think you're going to get a solid couple years out of him and then maybe those those uh, questions come up, but I think he has escaped the quarterback drama Ooh. at least for a year or two. No, we should send him a humidifier or two. He's going to need it. <laughs> yes. Vegas is super dry. Try. And uh, Trey Lance is Trey Lance oh. a member of the 49ers uh, come Monday morning. So I have heard some rumblings from some very respected people, and I know that there's been some reports about this, that the Niners are interested in Lamar Jackson. Now, what they would have to give up in order to get that, I'm not exactly sure. And does Baltimore want Trey Lance? But that one, imagine, imagine. Just imagine Lamar Jackson on the 49ers, Christian McCaffrey and George Kittle and Juszczyk and Debo. I mean, see y'all later. See everybody later in the NFC. Um, But that's very, very unlikely, unlikely that it'll happen. I do think that Trey Lance will be on the squad this year. I think they're going to give him the starting spot as it comes out. And then we'll see how Brock Purdy progresses but i do think that brock Purdy is going to be the guy this year and i don't know if you guys saw he was at a san francisco giants game just last week and uh, they showed him on the drumbotron and everybody at the ballpark stood up gave him a standing ovation they actually had to stop the game so if there's any question who the bay area loves the most Mm. it's brock Purdy. And he, he tried to wave back, but he couldn't uh, move his arm. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. What an emotional. What an emotional well, and did you guys see, and I'm, and Sean, I'm sure that you did, on the Kelsey Brothers podcast, they asked him if he can throw left-handed now, and he said yes. He has learned how to okay. throw his left yeah. hand. So now he'll out. be able to finish the game. Yeah. Look out. Now he can pitch it to McCaffrey <laughs> left-handed. I, mean, yeah. I was going to say, if they get Lamar, that's going to be like five or six people that can throw a wicked pass. I Yeah, I don't, I don't, want, the, I don't want the 49ers to get Lamar. That would be Worst case only oh, only the it. 49ers and their fans want them to get Lamar. I'm pretty sure nobody in the NFC or in the no, NFL. No. I, like, I like the NFC the way it is right I, now. I feel good <laughs> about my position. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. The Saints yes. on the clock. What are you doing? With the 29th pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL mock draft, the New Orleans Saints select Luke Musgrave, tight end, Woo-hoo. Oregon State. Mm-hmm. Love Stupid. it. All right. Ship you know, Luke improv. Musgrave is my boy. Oh, yeah. Long, athletic, <laughs> just like you like him, Sean. Oh, yeah. D- dude's a stud. He's Two touchdowns be this year. Uh, watch out. Him and Jawan Johnson will be battling, battling it out for us. Uh, yeah. Well, look, you're, you're going to make Mox a GM. You know, you're going to get a tight end already, oh, the way wow. that goes. Nice. And we do know that Derek Carr loves a tight end. Obviously, a lot of good chemistry between him and Derek Carr. And like you just said, Johnson got a two year extension. Plus, they got Todd. was more of a blocking tight end. And you bring up a good point, Kramer, about his health. Maybe he doesn't last the full season, but you need a good tight end room there. And I think this is what Derek Carr needs. To make uh to make him more successful, so give me Musgrave. Loose with the language here. Yeah, I take, love it. Think love about it. think about that three tight end set right there. That's- Juwan Johnson, Luke Musgrave, and Taysom Hill. Yeah. Uh, oh, they, uh, catching passes from mm, Taysom Hill. Just put some, I, slap I some butter say, on that roll. I did like Mayer and Kincaid better, but they were already off the board. So uh, yeah, let's Musgrave sneaking in the first round Triple would help me out. Uh, uh, pretty awesome. Giants taking Coons in the fourth round, third round, maybe. That's my exciting. That's my exciting second pick, <laughs> second day pick. Look out! All right, Katie, appreciate it. Thank you Hi, as guys. always. Mm-hmm. Let it ride. No, Our, no one ever brags about having an unrespected source. There was a respected <laughs> source, yes. you know. I want to be like this. He's a, a shifty. This source. one no one respects at all, but has a tip. Well, know? I mean, you know, uh, CJ. So, uh, we got breaking news. You uh-oh. are back on the clock with. I'm back on the clock. The Philadelphia Eagles. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, making the pick here at number 30. With the 30th overall. So the NFC champion 
Philadelphia Eagles oh. in the SGPN 2023 it, mock draft. I'm sorry, that was the Niners. We, uh, I know, Jesus God. <laughs> Forgot they lost that game. With their <laughs> six-string quarterback. Meanwhile, their first-string quarterback. Plus three. To, they're it plus feels three. Feels like we were robbed. Yeah. They're, they're Meanwhile, plus, they're trying to trade their first-string quarterback for a bag of footballs. They're plus they three. They're <laughs> plus three fifty to win the conference with Sam Darn. <laughs> Think about it. That is amazing. Anyway, the Eagles. With the 30th overall selection, something that could have been picking number 10, Lucas Van Ness, oh, wow. edge rusher out of Iowa. Wow, Sean is excited. The this children is, of the corn all grown up. This is Sean. This is a Sean. This is one of Sean's guys. No no comment on Lucas Van I mean, Van Ness. imagine if you get Lucas Van Ness a, a, and Witherspoon off on the first day. A guy with that that's skin an a, complexion? That's an A minus right there. That athleticism I mixed mean, with that Luke, complexion. Lucas Van Ness at, at 30. That late 30. Right. I think that's a uh I think that's a are steal. You, are you down on Lucas Van Ness though? I don't know. He's he's kind of a I, I guess I was down when they're mocking him to, at 10. Yeah, of course. 10 feels like 30 you got to I mean Oh, 30 I think he's a steal, but at 10 I'd rather swing for the fences with a Nolan Smith. Without I mean, without even seeing any film, I see Lucas Van Ness Iowa Edge. I'm thinking high motor. <laughs> <laughs> very co- love, very coachable. Works hard. Yeah, works hard. I, I, yeah, That's it's like I think he'll overachiever. Be, I think he'll be fine. Finishes, but I, <laughs> I think, I think Nolan Smith has like way higher upside. Yeah, for sure. But also probably a, a lower floor because mm-hmm. obviously with his size, he could just be a guy who's just not effective at all, right? Like he could just be a complete. Um, bust when it comes to that stuff. So. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, at thirty, that's a steal there. As at edge Iowa rusher. Do you have anyone that's kind of on your list there at thirty? Uh, that they didn't take. I mean, I mean, I would take that. I, I, I don't know. I think I think any uh, who's that O lineman? They I'm, trying, I'm, look, I'm looking at who's not there. Um, really, I don't know. I think any. I think I I don't mind going O line down there. Is there we we had this discussion on our uh, Die Hard Eagles podcast? What was like? What would be the worst case scenario for the Eagles draft? Mm. Well, like I said earlier, the wide receiver would be terrible. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know anything like that where they they, they don't get the uh, the guts of the uh, offensive line, defense line. I think you can't go wrong. Yeah, no just keep building in the trenches. And but any even linebacker. Like, I love Nolan Smith, but even when you go linebacker safeties, I don't want, you know what I mean? I don't want those. <laughs> they're, not gonna, they're not going to go linebacker safety in the first round. Right. Right? I would be shocked. All right. Closing out the 2023 SGPN mock draft. Joining us representing the Kansas City Chiefs from the host of the Sorry We Love Football podcast, Mr. Danny Solomon. What's yes. happening, Danny? What's up, guys? The champs oh, are no. here. Yes. Oh, no. I, I knew it. That. He was going to mention the Super Bowl. Lock I mean, that up. Danny mentioned in the Super Bowl. I got a lot riding on this pick. I Sorry, it. fellas. Sorry specifically to Sean Green. What a game, though. What We haven't even yeah. really talked since. No, yeah. we haven't. And, you know, next year uh, when we're there, battling it out again. Hopefully they don't play it on a fucking roller rink. Uh, I'm not going to accept that apology because it worked out pretty well for me. <laughs> I think Ryan should not accept any of that premise because those no. Giants might be – in the oh, room, really? appearance. I heard they're resurgent. He knows about Mike Kafka. He knows how good he is. <laughs> Danny, who do you uh AFC oh, competitive as always? Who are you who are you worried about in the AFC uh next year? Uh I mean, I think it's always the Bengals, just they play us tough, they're assholes and their fan base are pieces of shit. So yeah. you know, maybe they're one player away. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's definitely not anyone in the West. If you, I, I, I didn't see the Chargers pick, but yeah. that guy is fucked. Whatever he does, <laughs> who is um? They are who, such a cursed franchise. Also, who is Kansas City hoping has a heart attack this year so they get home field advantage to get the oh, wow. Super Bowl? They, wow. it, he was he was hit in between beats. That's what happened. All right, all right, okay. Uh, he took the vaccine, and that's just one of the side effects. So yeah, oh, wow. side <laughs> effects is the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Sure. What was I love the uh, I love the conspiracy <laughs> theory that he. Uh, he actually died, and that there it was, was a, a chip. <laughs> a Demar Hamlin body double was going the entire time. I just like the idea. We ran a poll: who's going to play uh, first, Demar Hamlin or Zion Williamson? And by all accounts, it's going to be Demar Hamlin. Yeah, so that offend, it through. offended people too. Yeah, I'm like, don't, don't, don't get mad at me. Get mad at Zion Williamson. Perfectly healthy heart, opting he, out of pickup basketball. 
He told your man Joe Biden he was coming back, so that's a lot. (laughs) Let's go. All right, Kansas City Chiefs on the clock. All right, with the 31st pick in the SGPN 2023 NFL Mock Draft, the Kansas City champs select offensive tackle Anton Harrison from Oklahoma. Protect the franchise. Uh, All right. So what, that, what what happened? Over you, five and a half. I needed a receiver there. I needed oh, over really? three and a half receivers. I thought he was going. I think Kansas City would grab one too. Yeah, and they there's might. a possibility. We for sure. we might. I think we in this scenario, looking at the mock draft, we would trade up probably right. to twenty five to get okay. Zay Flowers. As long as, as long as they took in my prop bet into account. <laughs> as long as they does something smart like that. Yeah, it's it, it, legal. You know, it's legal gambling, in Kansas. They're gonna yeah, uh, absolutely. They'll, they'll they'll look out for guys' profits. Who do you is that? Is there a dream pick here at the end of the round? I mean, if if either of the two receivers that have already been picked up, Zay Flowers, Jeff, Jackson Smith, and Jigba, or I would take Darnell Wright and just throw Juwan yeah. Taylor on the left side, Dar- Darnell Wright on the right side. What a fucking tandem that would be. We're never <laughs> nobody's true. touching. Oh, the the special boy Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I love it. How, what yeah. happened? Where did they? Will they uh, for the 2023 season? Will they unleash his brother? Where, wherever he's being held, will they <laughs> let him out of his whatever sort of prison they've kept him and his wife in? Will they release him for the 2023 season? He's he, the PR guys told him to stay in the background. That's where he belongs. He's too much of a lightning rod. Let's just focus on the franchise. <laughs> I love that. But they had a distraction and then they got rid of him. I don't, I don't, I didn't like that. Andy right. Reid knows how to get rid of a distraction. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's had true. a couple Wonderful. over the years. All right, Danny, appreciate it. Check out the Sorry We Love Football podcast yes. wherever you get your podcast. Pretty good mock draft, uh, Kramer. Any, and what are the, what were the biggest shocks? I think. I guess maybe nothing to like Levis going that right, late, so, uh, maybe just some, uh, so, uh, five cornerbacks, six offensive linemen. So mm-hmm. under cornerbacks over offensive linemen, five quarterbacks. So I think, I think Hen- based on what I'm starting to read uh, as we're getting real close to the draft, Hendon hooker going this high, I think is a little surprising. I think the order of the linemen w- was surprising for me. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, I, and I, and I would say uh, three tight ends going, that's going to, the book's going to get hit a little bit there. Yeah, other than that, I don't know. One running back, three receivers. Yeah, yeah. That, that's all under. Yeah, the the Jameer Addison Gibbs, Addison will go. In the Gibbs is a uh, lot of lot of steam with him. I think yeah. it's minus two hundred now for over one and a half running. And Peter back. Schrager said he's going in the first round. So, Schrager. well, and Schrager's, you know, he, he's he's plugged in. Yeah, yeah. And and shout out to the guy. I keep liking on his name, but he was like plus four twenty five over one and a half running backs. Yeah. Yeah. Smash it. Smash. Yeah, that's at minus 200 now. And of course, get in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord already, get in there, share us, uh, you know, talk some smack, get, get those prop bets in. And of course, uh, hit the NFL channel in the Discord so you can sign up for the free SGPN draft props contest. Mm. Uh, all the props tied to round one, $250 cash, $50 SGPN gift card, the Shady Rays contest, the Shady Ray parlay of the day. Ryan, when do we want to announce our Shady Ray parlay of the day? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Should we do it on the show and then have the, the social team put it out on social? Is that too late? No, I, I yeah. Enough. Well, I think maybe like right as the show tips off. All yeah, right. that, that feels pretty good. All right, we'll, so we'll, uh, we'll be in the lab tomorrow morning grinding it out. Coming up, hey, will draft props be involved in the parlay? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's let's great. uh, let's bring together the super team. Yeah. Uh, let's start with Scott and go from Scott there. parlay <laughs> specialist. Pick his brain, we'll get CJ's uh, input, sure. get the parlay line. Uh, sportsgamingpodcast.com slash shady. And again, uh, shadyrays.com promo code SGPN. Make sure you subscribe to the man in the box podcast hosted by the man in the box himself. CJ Sullivan. Bottom line box. Bottom line. Did I call it the man in the it's box all right. podcast? It's all right. In my head. That's what <laughs> I know. And I even said, should I switch the name? Should I switch the name to the man in the box? It's kind of catchy. People are going with it, and you, and you specifically, Sean Greed, said, "No, no, no, no." Bottom line, bombs works. We're sticking with that. I do, I do like your. Yeah, you know. No, I agree, but it's just funny. But that's what I mean, man in the box. Bottom that line, bombs soft. with the man in the box, aka CJ. Yes, Sullivan. there More you name. go. That's the as title. many names possible. You need, the title needs more words. Well, I'm we not all a, agree. I'm that. not a title specialist. I love it. I'm, I want to be someone's disrespected source. <laughs> I'd have to say uh, real quick, uh, by reaction alone, 
I'd say the most surprising pick from you guys has to be the lot. Uh, can't see for uh, Pittsburgh number eight. Yeah, overall. that was that, super high. That's when the draft started. Can we get a can we get a real quick price on him to be top ten? I don't. All right. I, I don't. I guess I, I can see it. I mean, there's always someone who reaches Raiders style. It's a deal, yeah. you know, uh, and it's a bust. Well, but I can't see. I can see, but I can see someone reaching for him. He's the kind of guy that keeps getting steam and buzz about when they, people would reach for him. They, and the people panic. Yeah, I mean, he's he's certainly. Do you have a price? Are you looking? I'm looking. I don't know if he's on the. Uh, maybe I'm just missing it. All right, here. for him to be top ten. Okay. I. He's not listed. <laughs> He's unlisted. Other. Fuck. Other. What is other? No. Others. What is other? No pick? field. How do you not He's list? Got, He's got to be listed. Come on. He's not listed. We broke the draft. We found their weakness. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't see him listed in this spot. Oh, maybe another spot. I mean, they got Drew Sanders for crying out loud. They yeah. get, come on. Yeah. Drew Sanders. Tanner McKee's listed. Jesus. <laughs> Mozzie Smith over. They're, they're just taking people's money. They're, they're robbing us. All right. Hey, All right. again, tune into the live draft uh, reaction watch party uh, extravaganza Thursday, yeah. 5 o'clock. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Uh, excellent time, Sean. Kramer, let it ride.